This is an amazing NFT collection by Lucas Zanotto called Mood Rollers. It is a collection of 3D animated loops with these funny characters. Each of the characters is unique because it's assembled of different blocks that have different materials and size. So essentially, it is generated 3D model combinations like in my Sober Jedi collection but with animation loops. And yes, we're gonna learn how to create a collection like that. First, we need some super dope 3D models. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Space Samurais. 3D characters with traits like head, head ring, body, skirt, and a blade. And now it's time to animate. I use armature to rig the body so it's easy to animate all the movements. So you can see the whole skeleton going from the bone that controls the head and the arms as well as the blade. I will pick this trait to create the keyframes for the animation loop. First off, we're gonna start with the frame number one of the animation. Okay, I will press A to select the whole skeleton. I'm in pose mode, which you can see over here. Then I'm gonna press I and we will choose location and rotation. And voila, we got our first keyframe, which you can see here as a little yellow dot. The second keyframe will be at the frame 25. I will pick this bone that controls the arm. Then we'll press R for rotation. And now you can see that we can freely move the arm as we want. Looks pretty funny, right? Now I'm going to press Y. So that one will lock the rotation in the Y axis and we'll move the right arm to this position. Now we're gonna pick the bone that controls the blade. Again, we'll press R for rotation, then X to lock it in the X axis and then we'll rotate it to the right side like this. This rotation kind of broke the wrist of our samurai. So I'm going to press seven, to move to the top view, then press R again. And this time we'll move the blade towards the body. So I will rotate it to the left side to compensate the wrist angle. Let's select the whole skeleton by pressing A, then I to make a keyframe and we will choose location and rotation again. And you can see that we got another yellow dot here at the frame 25. So our samurai now draws the blade. To create a seamless loop, we need to end the last keyframe with the same value as we started. Let's move our frame to the last one that is going to be 50. And to move the bones to their original position, we will press Alt R. And we also need to make our last keyframe here. So let's press I and choose location and rotation again. Let's play the animation. And now we can see the complete loop. Our samurai draws his blade and then he moves it back. So our animation will be 50 frames long. Remember this number, it's gonna be important. Of course then, I will animate the rest of the traits. Michael, come here. What is it this time? Our animation loops are ready, it's time to open the Raptor Pro plugin. You can see all the traits and their rarity, as well as the maximum number of combinations. But today we're gonna focus on animation settings. That number I told you to remember will go exactly in here. It is the length of our animation loop. Are you ready? Let's generate. When we play the timeline, we can see the animation loop, but as well, the change of combinations. We also got the metadata of each combination as JSON file. And there is also a 3D model exported as GLB file that can be uploaded to OpenSea. Notice the animation. We are not done yet. Our last step is rendering the animation loops. Go to Output Properties, find the Output section, and there pick the folder where the animation will be exported to and also the file format that you want. Then go to Render and Render Animation. Let's play! What a day! We just learned how to create a 3D animated NFT collection. How cool is that? For more tutorials like this one, hit the subscribe button. Hang and Michael R. Out.